don't know that this is supposed to be a FIFA 22 hero card tier list or whatever. We got to do just one little thing. Just one little thing. Kino is inevitable! Ah! Visit IGVault.com. The cheapest place to get your foot 21 coins on the whole internet, man. And if you do go over to IG Vault, make sure to use the code Brooksy for 6% off. Oh, baby. Link is in the description. <laughs> All right, how's it going? We got FIFA 22 hero card tier list for your uh, faces. See this thing? Your face. We've got three tiers and then a hidden tier, which is not very hidden because you can see. It's the keen tier. The keen tier. Yeah! So, we have the god tier, we have the decent tier, which is the mid-range, you know, the people that will get used but also won't get used. And then we got the poopy butt tier, which is primarily for the goalkeeper. So, I also want to preface this by saying, we are not sure whether all the hero cards have been released. We're 99% sure, but there could be other ones. Please, God, don't be anymore. I put the clubs that they played for and that they probably got the hero cards for. So, Robbie Keane obviously got his hero card for... Wait, is that a bottle of water? All right, so let's get the eyesore out of the way. Clint Dempsey. The amount of times I nearly called him Clint Dempsey. I don't know where to go uh, with this man because obviously we have to compare him to the Keen, the God, the Go. He's not as good as Keen, so uh, he's got to fall into one of these. This is a really interesting and informative video. Now, we've got to bear in mind that he's US. He's also playing for the MLS. Got that right. The links are a bit poopy butt. For the time being, I think we're going to put him into the poopy butt tier. We could change them all around, but stats-wise for a cam, he's usually for a cam, you want passing to be better than your shooting. He, 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 he doesn't have that, so he's not good. But I will say something. He has a good shot. Because of the... All right, the next 85 we have is Alan Rickon. I want to call him Al Alan Rickman, like Snape. Yippity yappity, if you get him in your pre-order pack, you're not happy. Oh! All right, Alan Rickon is pretty awful, to be honest. He's going to have good links. He's German. He's going to be playing for Bundesliga. He's going to link a lot of players in, but as a cam, I mean, he might be good. Once again, we don't know the meta for FIFA 22. We don't know anything about FIFA 22, realistically. Apart from finesse shots are OP, so maybe he's got 85 shooting. You know, the Clint Dempsey school of shooting. Oh, he's at the wheel. Tell me how good does it feel. All I know is he's not better than Robbie Keane, and I'm... Gas! 85 pace, not bad. 88 shooting, not bad. Three star skills, get in the blade and bin, will you, you old man? What is he, 48? Prehistoric. You know, only pterodactyls, do you? I'm looking for a couple pterodactyl eggs. But saying that, I genuinely think he's going to be a decent card. Uh, obviously, as you can see, Keno and Shoshar are the same rating. And Keen's just better. He's got four star skills, where Oli Gunnar Solskjaer has got three. But Solskjaer does have Gunnar in his name. Clint Dempsey's probably happy about that. I think decent is not a bad little place for him to go. Next up is my man, Alexander Mostovoy. Who? Who? You tell me you knew who Alexander Mostovoy is. You're chatting the biggest load of crap I've ever heard in my life. Brooksy did some research. Because he's smart. Mostovoy uh, had a very successful nine and a half year period, I think, with Celta Vigo in Spain. Not a bad little card. I mean, you look at his card from what it says. Why is that weak for four star skills? He could be pretty decent. His pace does let him down a little bit, but I reckon he's going to feel nice on the ball. And he's got the stats shooting and passing wise to back it up. I guess it kind of depends on whether pace is a big thing in FIFA 22. But I genuinely think with the five star weak foot, the four star skills, I think decent we might change them don't get me wrong oh and as with all of these by the way let me know in the comment section down below if you agree or disagree leave a like if you agree and dislike if you disagree because that's how those buttons work usually i was just gonna look at this al jabber guy right he's got two star skills and he plays in the saudi league i don't even need to look you're in the poopy book category mate you've got a massive flow of diarrhea and got the saudi scutters Next up is jersey dudek he's a goalkeeper i don't really know what goalkeepers are going to be like on this game so based on previous experiences with every other FIFA that's ever been made, Jersey Dudek is, poop, is poopy butt. Alright, next up is the invincible Freddy Jungberg. Not bad looking card, actually. Four star, four star. Swedish. Premier League. Getting them good links. Now, the thing with Freddy Jungberg is that at the start of the game, for like the first couple of months, I reckon he's actually going to be pretty decent. I think he's decent. That's it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Excuse the f*** out of me, chat. Why in the f***ing name of Christ has this man not got five star skills? Someone explain that. Someone f***! Joe Cole ain't looking bad, I'm not gonna lie. Joe Cole looks like he could be incredible in this game. He's got the English links, he's got the Premier League links, and he's got the Cobham heart. Joe Cole, in my opinion, is god tier. That's not biased at all. I don't have three or four Chelsea shirts. It's not biased. All right, next up, we've got arguably one of the best goalkeeper cards I've ever bloody seen. Seriously. Just look at his stats to start off with. He's literally Hullet Gang. As a goalkeeper. Oh yeah, that's the that's the issue. 
He's, got, he's five foot seven. That's a pretty big issue. But I'll tell you what I'm looking forward to. The full goalkeeper team. Wallace is still better, absolutely. But jeez. No, he's going to be awful as a goalkeeper. But as my striker in that video... Man's probably going to hatch it. All right, next up is Ivan Cordoba. This man was a beast for Inter Milan. One of the best Inter Milan centre-backs I've ever had to watch, you know, including Lucio and players like Ryan Nolan. Yeah, I know Lucio's a bit of a stretch, isn't it? High defensive work rate, low attacking work rate. He might be 5'8". I'm 5'8". And I'm a tank. I'm a tank. She is I'm right. a tank. Why is that relevant? I don't know. But he looks really, really good as a centre-back. If it's anything like this year, Ivan Cordova is going to be incredible. All right, next up is Mario Gomez. Three-star skills, instant turn-off for me. Um, but a lot of things turn me off, including cucumbers. So, never mind. If the meta is crossing balls in the box and heading, Mario Gomez is great. In terms of a usable card, he links to a lot of good players. I'm not going to say he's bad. But he's not great. But that's just my opinion. Let me know yours. Definitely not looking for viewer interaction or anything. Oh my god, EA, what have you done? What have you done? You ruined this card, man. He's got zero star skills and zero star weak for oh. oh. Diego Melito is very much like um Filippo Inzaghi, one of the best strikers I've ever seen play football in terms of a pure striker. But on FIFA, they're not gonna get the respect they deserve. 83 pace! You're flicking me nipples and calling me timid. I won't say no. So unfortunately, very much like Mario Gomez, incredible striker, but just not gonna get the respect he deserves on the game it's gonna have a decent card I, I you know next up is antonio di natale what a beast if you remember him from fifa 12 or whatever it was he's, he's a beast on a lot of fifas why is morty here what is this ad like we got getting over it and then elastic man morty we, we gotta stretch our face morty Rick, man, i don't want to stretch my face i don't want to be elastic man di natale that's where we're going this card is going to be absolutely phenomenal i genuinely cannot wait to use it Serie A. Italian. He's going to have so many good links this year. It's going to be unreal. Although, no Ronaldo. So, he's going in the poopy book category, guys. Next up is the Middlesbrough legend, Fernando Morientes. Not bad. Could be a better card. Once again, very much like Milito and very much like players like that. Mario Gomez. The card doesn't really represent the player. And he's just not going to be utilized across onto FIFA very well. Very much like Raul, for example. But he's not a bad looking card, I don't think. Once again, he's going to go into the decent category. I don't think he's better than Di Natale. I don't even think genuinely he's... He's better than Robbie Keane. He's got four star, four star. Genuinely could be a decent striker. Next up is Abide Pele. Fun fact, he's Andre Ayu and the other Ayu brothers' dad. Didn't think he'd watch a Brooks HD video and actually learn something, did you? There's a time and a place for everything, mom. All right, Abide Pele actually looks like he's going to be a baller cam card. When you think of who's in League One now, Messi, Neymar, Mbappe, Di Maria, Slimani. You've got a lot of good links. The Ghanaian link, not so much, but you know, the League One link, and he's got a baller card as well. Five foot nine, he's going to feel real slick in this game. Man's in the God Care tag. Can we get a clap? <laughs> David Ginola. Yeah. Um, apart from being such a sexy bastard, he's got a banger card. Five star, five star, yeah. All right. Bend me over and penetrate me. Man, like David Ginola, you know, bro. He's look at these. Look at his God tier players. And Keane. And last but not least, we have a man so bad. He has another tier list literally designed purely for him the cholera tier list do you get it it's like diarrhea it's like liquid scutter oh i've completely forgot one by the way just completely forgot one yeah we completely forgot tim cahill um to be fair it's not hard to forget tim cahill but let's be honest if we saw this card we know exactly where he's going he's going in the poopy book category a lot of people are gonna hate that oh my god i just realized we've made an arrow <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think about my tier list in the comment section down below. Where would you change your players? Where would you change my players, for example? Um, I can tell some people like Mililito. I've added about four more L's in there. You guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you agree with me. Dislike if you don't agree with me. Anyways, have a wonderful day. We're going to be doing a lot more FIFA 22 content. So if you like what you see, give it a like. The videos are going to hopefully go up another level now in terms of editing-wise. Because i got a stream deck now. I can do this and like go on. A lot more FIFA 22 videos. If you think of any you want to see, let me know in the comment section down below. And all the stats get released for the players i'll do another one of these tier lists i'll do loads of tier lists because you guys seem to like the tier lists anyways i'll see you guys in the next video have a wonderful day we might do a full ireland team next video so have a look out for that if you want to see that tell me in the conversation down below i'll see you in the next video have a wonderful day bye bye